So the first arch that you're going to work with is called the mandibular arch, and that is the mandible or the jaw. So your lower, lower jaw, and this is a shark. Uh, this is called the mechal cartilage. And all of the sharks, they don't have bone. Their whole skeleton is made out of cartilage. So all these are going to end in, in cartilage. Okay, so that's the lower jaw. And then you have the upper jaw, which is your palato quadrate. And if you think, okay, the roof of your mouth is called the palate. I hope you remember that. Okay. And then you have a little piece of cartilage that kind of makes like a boomerang shape. A big L. This is the cartilage that supports the lips or the skin around the jaws. So it's called the labial cartilage. And labial means lip. That's the mandibular arch. These three things make up the mandibular arch. Directly behind that, so if this is pointing, pointing towards the nose, directly behind that you have just a little piece of cartilage. This is the beginning of your hyoid arch. So everything is this. Everything in this arch ends in H-Y-A-L. So this is the base, it's at the bottom, it's the base behind Okay? And then connecting with that, running right underneath the mental cartilage is the serrato hyal. And then behind the palatal quadrate uh, is the hyo mandibular. That's your hyoid arch. Three pieces to that, three pieces to the uh, mandibular arch. And then you have five pieces to your the brachial arch. And all these end in brachial. So again, at the bottom, you have your base brachial. And then coming right off of that, it's just a little bone. It's the hypobrachial. I'm just going to put the prefix in. Hypobranchial. And then parallel with the serrato hyal is the serrato brachial. So do you remember these prefix, prefixes and suffixes? There's a lot of repetition, you can memorize it pretty quick. Okay. And then breaking this transverse plane, you have a uh, small one called the epibranchial. If you think of the epidermis, it's on the outside, it's on the top. The epibranchial is the first one on the top. And then the last one kind of does a weird thing like this. It is the pharyngeal branchial. Okay, so these repeat. The pharyngeo, the epi, and the serrato, they repeat five times because you have a bunch of gills right here. 
Um, you only have one, there's two pieces to the basic branchial, and there's uh, two hypobranchials, two or three, but uh, the rest repeat. That's basically it.